Hello viewers, this is Sushil your host and I am back with a new video for you. In this video we are going to learn how to use same mouse and keyboard for multiple computers using input director. There are situations when in a network a user uses two or more machines and to avoid the usage of multiple peripherals like the mouse and the keypad it can be facilitated through this freeware input director to use the same mouse and keyboard for multiple machines. Let us understand how it can be done. When you go to your internet browser, search for input director and you'll find the site inputdirector.com where you can download the freeware. This freeware was devised by Mr. Shane Richards and available for usage of personal non-commercial purpose. For any commercial purpose, it has to be legally purchased by paying the due cost. The latest release of this freeware is version 2.0.1 released on 2nd of October 2020. The earlier releases are also available for download and usage. So, there will be a cluster of machines which can be connected through a single mouse and keypad using this freeware. On each machine, ensure that the same version and release of this freeware is download, downloaded and installed. I have downloaded the version here and installed it on my machine. You can choose your own language of preference and install this. Fine, let us go to the window of this freeware and understand how it can be used. Now friends, let me make it clear to you that I don't have multiple machines in network and so I will not be able to give you the complete demonstration of how this freeware works. But in this video, I'll be explaining you how to do the setup and what are the inputs to be given in here. So let us start with the status. So now the status is not configured to control any systems. Since my only machine is available in the network as of now, I don't have any slave or the cluster machines. So none of the other machines are either controlling my master machine nor my master machine is controlling any of the slave machines. So this is a status. Configured so that no systems can control this con computer. So in this cluster, it can be facilitated through the access if other computers can control this computer and this computer can control vice versa other computers. Now, system information. This gives the system information which is being used for this configuration. So the host name, the primary IP and the network quality are seen here. I have masked it for the purpose of retaining the confidentiality. The User has a choice of either to disable input director or enable input director. A user guide is available here and shutdown of input director can be done from here. Fine. So let us go on about how to configure the machines. When I say change, it toggles to the next icon. And here I can add machines one by one by saying add. So when I say add, it goes to the next window wherein it asks for the host name. So I can configure the host name of the slave machine if I am aware of the host name. Otherwise, I can click on scan network for candidate systems and I can choose machines one by one. The port of the machine will be seen here and a port for a given machine in LAN or local area network is always unique. Here one can decide how many machines can be configured in the cluster and choose the appropriate number those are required to be configured. For quick transition, one can set hotkeys here and use them to toggle between the machines one after another. For data security and avoiding other machine users from accessing the data on any of the machines, a encryption key can be or encryption password can be set here and 
it will prevent any data loss or any data leakage which is not desired as one goes on adding the host names and the machines into the cluster the icon will appear here with its name here as one goes on adding one after another the client machines those icons will keep on adding over here in this region if one does not require a few of the machines to get added into this cluster you can choose default all systems to skip on startup that will add all machines in the lan into this network so by using the common peripherals all the machines can be used by the user okay director monitor setup so the monitor uh, how you wish to have it can be set up through this the cursor warp sound will be seen here warp around will be seen here so ideally your machines will be configured one by one into this area and by drag and drop you can make them look alike as they are physically in the office or in your network fine let's go to the next tab now here a security can be set up here the first option is no computer can take control so none of the other computers can take control of this parent machine through this option the next one is allow only these computers to take control so here by choosing add option you can type the host name of the machines which may be allowed to take access and control of this machine so every machine in the system on this cluster will have this option and it can be decided by the user how to make the access available to various machines in the cluster the next option is allow computers only on this subnet to take control so here the subnet and the mask can be selected from the list and chosen allow any computer to take control so this is a homogeneous way of working wherein any machine can take control on any other machine or rather any of the machines in the cluster can take control over this machine so by choosing this access controls one can define what to and what not to allow in the access as far as the cluster is concerned so keep this system awake while input directory is active so if directed to shut down then do nothing stand by hibernate and shut down so this option can be chosen from here as required by the user synchronize locking this system with the director so you can lock this machine by using the input director that means by using the mouse and keyboard from any of your client machines as the access control may be provided to that machine the user can synchronize and lock this system as I explained earlier this data security you can choose to encrypt the data on this machine global preferences here you can choose to run input director on startup or not is the choice of the user clipboard share the clipboard exclude file copy paste and the third option is exclude default c dollar d dollar shares for the copy paste so these choices are totally provided for the user to choose how the cursor should look like how the effects of the cursor should be the network the port number and the preferred network interface can be chosen here or changed miscellaneous information of the window one can hide or show fine so manage warning messages one can manage as per his or her choice so to avoid any kind of irritants one can choose the appropriate choice from the available options so friends i have tried to explain you how to use input director for using the same peripherals on multiple machines i hope as per your requirement you will make the best use of this video and share it with your friends colleagues family members and the needy people around you with this we come to the end of this video i hope you have understood and enjoyed learning this option of using same peripheral on multiple machines if you have found this video to be useful please provide your like 
on the YouTube channel of mine where this video has been published. I will come back with further videos of your requirements and of your choices soon. Till then, subscribe to this channel and keep getting the notifications of the videos which are getting published on my channel. Bye bye and take care.